So the lion turtles, where do they go? Hey everyone, welcome back to one of my short geek talks. Today I wanted to talk about a topic that has come up on my channel a few times, mostly in context of my most powerful avatar character video, and then the subsequent videos about, you know, the most powerful immortals and powerful spirits. Uh, one of the topics that came up uh, in that discussion was the idea of the lion turtles and why I don't see them as the most powerful in kind of the context of why that's the case and also what happened to them. So if we look at the old nick.com website, there was a definitive answer uh, to what happened to the lion turtles and it reads lion turtle this is the oldest most ancient creature in the avatar world lion turtles existed since the world began and predate the era of the avatar this lion turtle is the last of his kind the rest were hunted and killed thousands of years ago the lion turtle possesses timeless wisdom and powerful spiritual energy not all avatars have met the lion turtle in fact Aang is the first in many ages. So yeah, the reason I bring this up is because a lot of people will, you know, criticize that video that I made and say, no, lion turtles should be at the top. Rava was saying how benevolent they were, you know, and how, how powerful and how great the ancients were and how they were there before even she was. And that, you know, should put them above. But then the issue with that is that the way, and this might be a problem with my channel in general and, and just the way that the crowd that I kind of brought into my channel because it started off as a versus series channel in terms of Last Airbender, like that's the first thing I did in the context of Last Airbender was, you know, pitting characters together and seeing who could beat the other, who's more dominant in, in that force. And not all entities in, uh, in, you know, the world, real life, or, you know, in spiritual world or in fiction, not all power is created equally. And what do I mean by that? So the destructive power of, say, like an Ozai or an Iroh during Sozin's Comet is different from like a Janora or a Lion Turtle whose power doesn't come by destroying, but by creating, you know, like Mother of Faces, like her power, her great power is switching people's identities and, you know, changing their faces. But she doesn't necessarily have the ability to destroy whole towns. She's not like an old iron who can destroy towns. So there's different tiers of, of power levels. and. What happens with the lion turtles is that, yes, they are powerful. They bestowed the power of bending to all of the humans in the world. And they, you know, gave energy bending to Aang and, you know, passing that down to Korra and all that. But they aren't powerful in the sense that they themselves can use that power within themselves and just destroy. Otherwise, then they wouldn't have been killed by humans thousands of years ago. So I guess what I'm trying to get at is that the, the definition of power is more nuanced. And just in general, in today's age, we need to understand that there is nuance to everything in life. It's not black and white almost ever. It's it's definitely almost always gray. And, and in the case of power, uh, which I, I'll admit, I've cultivated this kind of culture on the channel that, you know, talks about who can beat the other and, you know, who's more powerful in terms of like who can, you know, strong arm their way, but not all power is like that. There's a difference between destructive power and uh, benevolent power. So, you know, you have like the fae creatures and, you know, mythology and fantasy who, you know, are, are very powerful in what they can do, but they aren't necessarily going to, you know, conquer. Like conquering, I think, is something that we got to like th think differently about. Conquering isn't always the only form of power. And, you know, just because lion turtles aren't destructively powerful doesn't mean that they aren't powerful and just because they hold a power that you know can do all this with the avatars and the benders doesn't mean that they are destructive and that they have the ability to you know be conquerors but that's it i just wanted to discuss about what the origins of the lion turtles were and also where they went and why they aren't around anymore why there's only one left by the end of the last airbender series uh, and the reason is because they are destroyed by humans who had more destructive power than the benevolent beings but let me know what you guys think in the comments below uh do you also agree with this idea that i have about power and how it's more nuanced than just being destructive did you know about the lion turtles origins and what happened to them and that the humans killed them or is this completely new to you let me know in the comments below and as always peace love and remember be water my friends